اعوذبلّہمنشیطانرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم یا ایوہ الزین آمنو لا یس خر قوم من قوم اسا یقون خیرم من ہم خیرم من ہم ولا نسا من نسا ان اسا یقن خیرم من ہن ولا تل مزو انفس کم ولا تنا بزو بل القاب بے سل اسم الفسو کو باد المان و ملم یا تب فلا ڈیئر فرینڈز السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ دس از دا سیکنڈ پارٹ آف سورہ حجرات آیت نمبر الیون دا فسٹ پارٹ وی ہیو بین ایکسپلینڈ فرام یا ایو اللہ زین امن لا یس خر قوم من قوم اسا یقون خیر امن ہم ولا نسا ام من نسا ان اسا یقن خیر امن ہن سو اپ ٹو دس دا فسٹ پارٹ وی ہیو ایکسپلینڈ اباؤٹ دا ایول پریکٹس دیٹ از نٹ ٹو میک فن آف ادرس not to do mockery not to mock others not to scoff others so not to insult others so that is uh, we explained that one in the first part today we are just to uh, explain about wala talmizu anfusakum wala talmizu anfusakum and don't taunt one and other among yourselves or we can say talmizu the other meaning is Uh, to make fault of others and don't make wala talmizu anfusakum and don't make fault of one another wala talmizu anfusakum and don't taunt one another among yourself or you can say and don't find faults of one another among yourselves or don't insult each other or don't blame one and other among yourselves very important message in this ayat allah wants those type of smallest sinful act with for which the outcome is the bigger one the disturbance the breakdown of unity the deterioration the distortion within the islamic society allah wants to remove all those factors which are inhabiting which are retarding the unity within our islamic society this is very important message we got in this ayat mashallah the second part of this ayat the first was the don't make fun of others don't mock others don't scoff others don't uh, find the faults of other don't uh, like uh, feel others uh, uh, inferior to you so we are now finding the second sinful act that deteriorates unity disturbance in our islamic society we get uh, as a result of it so we need to remove this from islamic society with the uh, with the command of allah what we find in this ayat that wala talmizu anfusakum and don't taunt one and other among yourselves so this is very important so mostly what happen you can see in our society the people they try to find the faults of others and then they blame them with that and among the other people they try to insult those people and try to degrade them try to make their feeling 
not good before others so these type of things bring in our society no unity because those people to whom you have done taunting blaming or uh, these people they will not like the others so they will have in their heart maybe they hate others who are who are doing like uh, these type of sinful act with them so this way uh, the unity which was the prime importance that has been shattered this is the biggest loss of our society allah said in holy quran wa tasimu bi hablillahi jamiyan wa la tafarraqu so you have to hold the uh, rope of allah uh, and uh, and don't be scatter and uh, um, but uh, but what happen the people they are not to hold the rope of allah rope of allah is quran and sunnah when you are just to hold the rope of allah then other one end of this rope if you hold the other end is with allah so it mean when you hold it you will be connected with allah so then allah knows allah is basir allah is sami allah is alim allah knows each everything so allah will fulfill all of your demands and you will get a happy life here and there also but when you are not holding that and you are going to be scattered like allah said wala tafarraqu but you have got the tafarqa you have got you have been scattered then automatically you will not get the blessings of allah which are falling on the people when they are in unity because when the people they are in unity they get so many blessings of allah falling and in them those are enough not for this life but the life he for life here after also but when you are scattered automatically you will be away from the blessings of allah you are not getting that one now you you are because you have disturbed the people and disturbed the society disturbed the unity disturbed the strength of the muslims so you made them so much weak and allah will make you more weak in this world and even in the world year after also this is the main thing which allah wants that you have to make your society more strong strengthen your society with the command of allah and command of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam this way quran and sunnah is the be- best one law uh, like you have to hold it completely like hold the rope of allah wa tasimu bi hablillahi jamiyan wa la tafarraqu and these are the things which make the farqa um, disturbing trouble and problems when you are taunting other person when you are taunting with sometimes you making sign signals sometimes you making like a like a teasing other with some type of special expression from your body parts like from your uh, hands from your eyes from your nose from your uh, eyebrow some type of special signs appear to make the other person insult so this is not allowed sometimes you make copy of others and to show other people to make them laugh so these are the things and sometime sometime you find the find some points of someone or some talking of someone or some type of uh, saying of someone and then you mix a little bit with that and then you make it to present before other people and to make them laugh this is the what is this think now and sometimes you try to find the fault of other people also to make them uh, insult within the society so the people should not uh, have a good uh, image of that person think now what are, what are these things uh, and uh, these things you are doing in muslim society and rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that uh, this uh, all the muslims they are like a one body when body any part of the body feel pain the whole body feel it what do you think you feel it so when someone is under problem you feel that one 
even you know if if the according to this hadith when a muslim all the muslim they are considered as a as a one body one body and all the all the organs of the body if anyone feel pain so whole body feel that one even if you have the body if some part of your body is is naked you try to hide with your cloth this way if within the society if you find any fault in someone you have to hide that like you hide your body with your cloth so because if you do this one then at the day of judgment allah will hide your faults at the day of judgment so make the unity make the strength of the society more strong and don't copy others to show other one and to make their position before the people too much inferior to make you uh, to the people to laugh them is this good these are the things which brings hatred in the people and this hatred brings jealousy and some people when they are unable to fight they try to do magic black magic some other magic the other satanic tactic they try to tease the others so within society islamic society this type of satanic program this this comes in full swing then think now who brings this one you because you bring those things in our society which are not good and these type of movements bring in our social relationship more bad and uh, and we are uh, this way allah said you have to remove them completely from the islamic society allah made them haram and you are try to make try to make the muslim society more strong you are like rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said al muslimu akhu al muslimi la yuzlimuhu wa la yuslimuhu so muslim is the brother of other muslim and la yuzlimuhu muslim should not do anything don't oppress others and wala yuslimuhu and don't leave him alone when you it mean if you are other muslim brother if brother or sister is in need you have to fulfill the need rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said if you are fulfilling the need of the orphans or widows at the day of judgment you will get the company of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam at the day of judgment there even in one hadith that if you are just to fulfill the need of someone that the day of judgment you know even in this world allah fulfill needs of you and at the day of judgment allah will also help you there also this way sula rahmi mean like you have to look after your relatives find the lower person and uh, who is who need who is in need of something you have to fulfill the need get reward from allah also because your risk will be increased your life will be increased mashallah you get so much benefits so the main thing is that you are not to criticize people mostly criticize people the people they criticize others with the negative sense so much that other person start crying this happened we have seen it think now this this good thing Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the the cooperation coordination within the Islamic society that is so much good that because of muslim they are like a one body when one organ of the body feels pain the whole body feels it this hadith from sahih muslim sahih bukhari and this way you think now if our body if it is feeling good so whole society is good so allah wants the whole society to be good within within islamic environment mashallah a person who is feeling i am proud some some people they feel proud of their wealth of their status of their family of their uh, tribe of their uh, different way like uh, they think we are the proud of that then this way the other side understand other people like inferior so then how is possible when they understand other were inferior to them then they they have no not to respect then they have to uh, find the fault of others uh, copy them show them and laugh at them and make their position bad even they try to blame them so many things they do so this way is a big problem within our society that comes out come of it so and some people you you know the indian movies and uh, the 
English movies when they are English movies or English programs, even cartoons, some other things when when the people they are just to look at that and their children they are just to look those things from English movies, Indian movies or Indian or English programs, then what they will get? How to tease others? How to find the faults of others in order to get worldly benefits? How to copy others to make laugh? How to taunt others in order to get uh, like uh, the the fun of our uh, like this life to make laugh and uh, ourselves and others and to make uh, other person uh, disturb and then to be feel like a, a laughing and uh, this way and they try to do blame also some people try to blame others in order to get the worldly benefits. So these are the things which are which are destroying our brotherhood, our unity, our uh, you know the strength. So how is possible the Muslims they will they will got up then? So we are the people we try to bring good things in our society, in our children, in our uh, family, so that we should be connected with the rope of Allah with the Quran and Sunnah in order to get the strength in, in our society so that we should have a good face here and there. Allah gave us tawfiq. Ameen.